Thank you for attending the Mitochondrial Clinic. My name is Dr. Cathy Quinlan and I am a clinician working at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. This short movie aims to summarise the information statement for this research project. Our clinic is part of an Australian-wide collaboration of doctors, scientists and genetic counsellors called the Mitochondrial Diseases Flagship and is part of a larger research study by Australian Genomics called Preparing Australia for Genomic Medicine in collaboration with the Australian Mitochondrial Disease Foundation. If you decide to participate in this research, you will be asked to sign a consent form. Before you decide, you may wish to ask us further questions or to discuss the project with family, friends or healthcare workers. This movie does not replace the information statement, but we hope it helps you in making your decision and aids discussion with others. Genes are instructions inside you that tell your body what to look like and how to work. Genes are made up of DNA and appear on structures called chromosomes. There are almost 20,000 genes in almost every cell of your body, and each has a specific function, but the function of all genes is not yet known. Variation in genetic information can occur, which is why we are all unique. Most variations are harmless, but some can change how a gene works and can lead to disease. Identifying variations may help to find the cause of your or your child's condition. Previously, testing to look for variations involved looking at one gene at a time. This is called a genetic test. There are now new ways to test that can look at all or some of the genes at once. This is called a genomic test. The aims of this research study are to evaluate whether multidisciplinary clinics improve your outcomes and experience. A multidisciplinary clinic is a clinic where you meet a number of different health professionals at once. A geneticist, metabolic diseases specialist, neurologist, nurse and genetic counsellor. Everyone is asked to consent for this part of the project. To look at how genomic testing affects clinical management. If the mitochondrial disease team think a test is suitable for you or your child, then they will explain this to you and you will be asked to consent for this part. To determine the cost effectiveness of multidisciplinary mitochondrial disease clinics, which involves filling out two questionnaires. To evaluate if providing further research as part of this study will provide more diagnoses, answers for families or further our understanding of your or your child's condition. If you or your child is having a genomic test, then we may need to collect a blood or saliva sample. We will use this to extract, test and store your or your child's genetic sequence. The results will be given to you in a future clinic appointment. Your medical team will collect information about you or your child's condition and whether other family members are affected. In order to evaluate your experience and the social and economic impact, we will ask you to complete two questionnaires. The first, shortly after your appointment. We may invite you to participate in focus groups or workshops in the future. We will use a data linkage agency to extract information from hospital and emergency data sets about you or your child's use of healthcare resources. We will access information from 2016 through to the end of the study, which is up to five years. And we will also collect information from Medicare and pharmaceutical datasets. This will help us to study the potential economic impact of genomic sequencing. We will ask if we can share your or your child's anonymised data with other researchers under appropriate agreements with Australian Genomics. You will be asked if you will be willing to be contacted in the future about other research projects. And we may ask if we can collect blood or saliva samples from parents. Again, this is optional. 
It is your choice if you want you or your child to take part in this research. If you consent but change your mind, you can withdraw at any time. Your decision will not affect your or your child's routine treatment or your relationship with those treating your child. The multidisciplinary clinic model offering genomic sequencing is not currently routinely funded. By taking part, you may receive information that could influence your or your child's healthcare. The outcomes of this research may provide valuable information about whether this service should be part of routine care and whether it should be funded by Medicare. Having a blood test may be a little painful. Occasionally, we may ask for a skin sample at a later time. If you consent to this, then it may leave a small scar. We will give you more information about this if it applies to you or your child. When we undertake a genomic test, we will only search for genes that are related to your or your child's condition. But it is possible that we could find genes responsible for other genetic conditions that you do not know about. If this happens, then the doctors and genetic counsellors will discuss this with you in clinic. Sometimes results may have implications for other family members, so you may wish to think about how you will handle this information. We will only discuss your or your child's results with your family with your permission. You may be required to inform insurance companies or future employers of genetic information that you learned through this project. Because this research may include whole families, we may discover that they are not biologically related. This information will not be made available to you. Information that could identify you will never be placed in national or international scientific databases. But because your genetic information is unique to you, there is a very small chance in the future that someone could trace it back to you or your child. All researchers have a duty to protect your or your child's privacy and to keep your or your child's information confidential. All information will be identified with a unique study number. Only the study doctors and their relevant research staff will be able to re-identify the data back to you or your child. All data will be stored in a secure, password-protected electronic database. Only study doctors, researchers and personnel working directly with the study will have access to the database. Data related to Medicare, prescriptions and hospital datasets will be stored on the MCRI in the University of Sydney Secure Server and will be destroyed seven years after publication of the final report. The findings of this study will be published and presented at scientific meetings. You or your child will not be identifiable in these presentations. Data will be stored for at least five years after the publication of the results. If you want any further information concerning this project, you can contact the principal study doctors or check out this website. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short movie. I hope it has helped to explain this research project. You may wish to watch it again or to contact your study team with further questions.